Malou here with a quick project share. So I've been busy making paper wreaths and I want to share them with you. I have two. This first one is uh, my Halloween themed one. This is one I want to put on my front door um, starting in October. And as you can see, this is actually paper from the, the same paper that I used on the mini albums. So I had, I still have leftovers too, so I might even make a second banner. But this is the uh, one I made um, with that paper line. And with this glitter, I love this glitter. It was already made, it's by uh, a, a paper embellishment glitter uh, pack from Kane Company. And it came in purple, orange, and black. And it was all the same ones, just in different colors. So I chose the black one for this. And this right here, I'm really excited about this, really proud of this. This was actually inspired by um, something I saw at Michael's. Um, this is a little different, it had a little uh, bling in it. And I don't have a bling that big, but this is actually made, uh oh, it's gonna be a shadow, so. Let me see if I can, there we go. This is actually made by hot glue. And it is, the form actually is from Mod Melt mold. And so this is hot glue, the headpiece and the body. And then uh, I use Rubber Cafe's glue. Um, what is it called? Once I find out, if, um, once I find out and remember, I'll put it in the description below. But I let that set and it became sticky, kind of repositionable, I guess it would be. But um, I added uh, Rubber Cafe's also, their black glitter. Love it, look at that, how fun. And then here's wire, you can see, look at that. And then those are pearls. And if you see that, look at this. That is glue also, hot glue, along with the web. Now this is really fun because the web I made, um, again, out of hot glue. And if you look at it, let's see if I can get it to focus. When I was making it, all these little strands, do you see them? I was gonna, I took them out originally, but when I put glitter on it, I don't know if you can even see the glitter on this. Those little strands came out and I loved it. It really gave it a nice little, uh, more authentic touch to this spider web. And, it, and even here, if you see that little, little one here. <laughs> Cause I used hot glue gun to attach it to, to the uh, paper also. And then I went to this one too. So isn't that just, a nice, cool surprise. I like that, that was really cool. And I did the same thing again, hot glue gun and left the little strands and even had made some here. Kind of looks like an icicle kind of, but hey, maybe I'll find a little a little uh, sea bead and make a little spider, I don't know. So that's the first paper banner. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't even bring it out so you can see the whole thing. Hold on, let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So this is my first paper wreath for Halloween and the second one I'll show you in just a moment okay be right back hey guys okay so this is the second thing I've been working on this is a paper banner that um, still came out pretty cool and this is for Christmas look at that is that cute one of those um what is that called um Merry Christmas something I found at a uh, yard sale or no it was at the flea market you know when you find those little uh, jewelry doodads kind of stuff and I bought it like a whole bag full <laughs> so this is my paper wreath for Christmas and with this one I just use the same punch in all three actually this is it's two layers it's the total of three layers but two layers in white and then in the foil but I did use the same punch for all three I think next time I'm gonna use a different one for the middle but yes, that's my little paper banner I made <laughs> for Christmas. Okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. And don't forget to dream, create, and inspire. Talk to you later. Late.